How's it going, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and you're about to watch battle number 61 of my Oras Wi-Fi battle videos. If you enjoy this Wi-Fi battle, you know the drill. Hit that like button and subscribe for more content. But today's Wi-Fi battle, we're facing off against Garud Leafstorm. One of my rivals here on Twitter, I'll put his Twitter link in the description of this video, uh, so that way you can go follow him or challenge him to a battle and whatnot. I'm also, uh, me and Garud are part of the International Challenge, no, the International Championship League. Gosh darn it, uh, the ICL. So, uh, that's another Pokemon battling league that I'm part of, similar to the Indigo League of Legends, which I am taking a small hiatus from, uh, but I will get back to, back to it eventually. But I'm really happy to, you know, be part of the ICL, the International Championship League. It's gonna be very interesting. I'll put some more, some more information on that later. I'll explain the rules on that when the time is right and my draft picks and whatnot. So this is a U U R U and N U match. Uh, really interesting Pokemon use this battle. I'm using Dragalge, Toxic Spikes, and Draco Meteor. The adaptability ability. Haha, <laughs> and, uh, defensive Reggie Rock with Stealth Fox, a nasty plot with Magius, choice Scarf and Boar, choice Band Bouffalant, and Eevee like Electabuzz. The main effects on my opponent's side are going to be Sinchino, uh, Mega Houndoom, and to a lesser extent, the Sableye, because I don't really have an answer to it in this team, on this team, actually. So here we go. Critical hit. Ow. Ow! Another critical hit. Ow! Ow! And Silva the Gragology doesn't do anything, and Sinchino is going to take care of my first Pokemon on the first turn of the match. Really awesome, right? Not. Uh, but that's okay, we can go into Regirock to hopefully get up my Stealth Ops, but what I decided to do was actually go for Thunder Wave. Actually, go for Thunder Wave. There we go. I had to say it right. Uh, yeah, so Thunder Wave fails to hit because his Rotom Cut dodges it. Uh, he goes for Volt Switch. And I decided to go with an Ice Punch because it will hit Rotom Cut and Sableye here. Now, I did expect him to go with a Will-O-Wisp now. Will-O-Wisp would hit Regirock and it would cut down my physical attack. I knew that was coming, so I go into the natural place, but he obviously predicted that because he goes for a knockoff and knocks off my choice scarf on Embor, which is really sad. I'm now not that fast compared to having a choice scarf. So uh, I did predict him to switch out, after that, uh, but not into Quillfish, because Quillfish, yeah, it makes sense, because he has Intimidate as an ability, which will cut down my attacking power some. I go back into Regirock, and I know from experience that Quillfish can go for uh, either Toxic Spikes or Spikes. In this scenario, he goes for Spikes. He also has Taunt, which I did not expect. I go with Stealth Loss, trying to get those up, because those are going to come into huge effect in this battle, for sure. If I can ever get those up, that is. Uh, so we get some information on the Quillfish that it has Taunt. I'm going to keep that in mind as the battle goes on. I expect him to just continue going for Spikes, so that way I can go into Bolt Buster, my Eevee Light Electabuzz. I go for Psychic because I Realize that Rotom Cut is coming back in. He's also an electric type, so why would I go for a Thunderbolt when he has that? We're gonna go with a Psychic and just get some nice chip damage to that thing. And right there, I also predicted him to switch out, so we're gonna go with a Volt Switch. Get out of there and go back into Regirock. Last time, uh, he goes for Knock Off, or he went for Knock Off with Sableye, but now he has the chance to burn my Regirock, which I, I honestly don't, <laughs> it's, it's really hard, uh, cause I don't, if I had to choose, if I had to choose, I would probably pick Regirock. Everyone else, 
would not appreciate the burn. So, Reggie Rock, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to take a blow. Take one for the team, why don't ya? Uh, here, I, I am able to get up my stealth ox, which is great, as he goes for recover. I don't think he has a rapid spinner or a defogger, so the stealth ox are going to remain, stay in effect, throughout the whole battle in this video. So, uh, here he goes for a foul play, which I don't know if that's going to work out. Uh, I get a critical hit and I freeze the Sableye, which is great, because if he's frozen like that, that makes dealing with Sableye a thousand times easier. Uh, I'm like, okay, great. Now I can switch out of here, go on the Shady, my Miss Magius, and set up in his face. This Sableye is going to probably be going away for now because, you know, I don't want to stay and have this Miss Maggie set up as I do go for a nasty pot on this upcoming turn. So now I have the momentum, well, some momentum on my side because I was praying that I would live a Leaf Storm from Rotom Cut, the Rude Leaf Storm, going for Leaf Storm. How relevant. Uh, so we, a we are able to go with a plus two Shadow Ball to finish off the Rotom Cut. I'm like, this is great. Now the spell is going to be really interesting. But then I found out that the Sinjino is faster than Shady. It's not even choice Scarf, it's Life Orb, the Sinjino is. So Sinjino is going to be a problem with his speed, being really effective as spell. He goes back into Sableye. I'm not really sure why he's frozen. Uh, I go into my Nitro Blaze and just go for a Flare Blitz and hopefully we can take him out. And we do take him out, which is great. So we take care of not only the Rotom Cut, but we finish off Sableye as well. So those are two Pokemon down that I know of. Uh, here's Sinshino again. I'm like, you know what, let's just go into Reggie Rock, and uh, hopefully we can take a few hits from you. Uh, he goes for Rock Blast. Ow. 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 Ow! That hurts! <laughs> Reggie Rock goes down, because Sinshino, Sinshino's tail is firing rocks at it, and it's so painful. That's okay, we can go into Hornet, which is my choice band, Bouffalant. He goes for a U-turn, and uh, for the whole time, uh, Sinshino is losing health from the Life Orb, and then he's going to be taking Stealth Rock damage when it comes back in. Now, even though Intimidate affects Bouffalant, it takes two head charges to finish off Quillfish, which is amazing. So we are able to go with another head charge, at minus one, it takes two head charges to finish off Quillfish, which is great. Now he goes into his Mega Houndoom, or I guess regular Houndoom, and then he goes for the Mega Evolution. And, uh, I don't really have any other choice but to sacrifice Hornet right here. I could have switched out, but, I mean, nobody does not want to take a Dark Pulse from a Mega Houndoom. I fortunately do not get flinched. I am able to survive a Dark Pulse from Mega Houndoom, and we fire off a Focus Blast, which is great, because I really, I rarely hit Focus Blast. You would miss it, like, 100% of the time. Uh, once again, critical hit, ow. Electabuzz is gone, because since you know speed is just so freaking fast, man. Uh, right there, or right here right now, uh, Rock Blast avoids Nitro Blaze. That's amazing, because if he knocked out my Nitro Blaze, I don't think I would have a chance of winning this match. Uh, his last Pokemon is Slurpuff, Slurpy. Ooh, delicious. And we're going to go with the Flare Blitz. I was actually not expecting this to KO, but this apparently is an offensive uh, Slurp Puff. And we both go down. Those were our last Pokemon. We all go down. 0-0 zero, zero the score, but I am able to clinch the victory because we take care of the Slurp Puff. So there you go. Came down to the wire. That was an epic battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
That was a great battle, Garud. Thank you. We'll hopefully have some more matches here in the near future. Alright, I'm out for today. I hope you guys find this video entertaining. And uh, hit that like button, subscribe. See you all next time. Goodbye, Chance.